Hi, and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, at a subscriber's request, I will be showing you how to make facial cream. Now, this facial cream is perfect for the fall and winter because it's very moisturizing and your skin will truly love it. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please stay tuned. And if the content is what you like, be sure to give it a thumbs up. In the meantime, let's hop right into the video so that you can begin formulating your own facial cream. So what we have here is our ingredients for our face cream. And in this container, we have 152 grams of distilled water. We have four grams of vegetable glycerin. We'll add that to our water phase. And then we have, in this container, we have two grams of coconut milk and one gram of panthenol. And we're going to add that now. Give that a stir. Try to break up those clumps. And if it doesn't break down completely, it's okay. It's, we'll, it'll melt as we heat it. And then here we have two grams of chamomile extract and we're going to add that in And again, that'll work, that'll melt down as we heat it. And then in here, in this container, we have 12 grams of shea butter. We have four, four excuse me, four grams of cetyl alcohol. eight grams of emulsifying wax, and and in this container we have 16 grams of jojoba oil. I did that backwards. I was supposed to put it in the other container. But that's okay. All right. And so we're going to go ahead and put this all on in a heat bath to melt down the ingredients. So we got a, a pot that's sitting on the stove with about an inch of water. Before we put the water in, we're going to, we're going to weigh that. And then we'll make note of So we'll make note of that in case we have to add water in case of evaporation. So we are going to go ahead and get those on the stove and we'll be back once they melt. Okay, so we are going to have, have everything all melted down and we're going to tech, check to see if we have lost any water due to evaporation. And we're about the same. We've, 
a drop. We don't really need to add for that. So you could have added your little one gram back, but I think we'll be okay. So we are going to pour our oil phase into the water phase. Making sure we get it all. And as you can see, we automatically start to get that emulsifying. Okay. Mix it just a little. And now we're going to blend with our immersion blender. And so to avoid getting splats all over the place, we're just going to do some small bursts to begin with. some it's very challenging and this is very very hot so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and cool down some so we got a really good immersion, but we're gonna, it's really very, very hot. So we're gonna continue to let it cool and it will thicken as it's cooling. And you wanna do a combination of blend and stir. And go back in with the immersion blender again. a little thicker so, but we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then we will let it cool and we will come back and start to thickening up a little bit you can see that here by just it's how it's coating the spatula so we're gonna go in again with the blender and give it a little bit more of a mix Still too warm, and we want it to thicken up just a little bit more. But you can see how it's starting to get a little bit viscous from the coating. Now we're gonna let that cool a little bit more. I think we're done with the blender. And you can see, we'll let that cool down a little bit more before we add our cool down ingredients, which we'll prepare now. 
So now we're going to do our cool down ingredients. And so first we're going to add our preservative in this. And we have two grams of liquid dermal plus. You want to always do a preservative, especially if you are doing anything that has water. This will help from preventing bacteria and mold from growing. Ooh, okay. So a little bit more than two. And I'm not going to try to pull that out. That's a lot. Let's actually get some of that out. Okay, I'll take a little bit out to make it two. And literally, that was just like a little scoop, a little dot of the preservative. I can't even put it back in the container. So that's two grams of liquid dermal plus. And then we're going to do two grams of vitamin E. And with copral would be another name for it. So you tear out your scale. And we're gonna put two grams. I cannot believe I got two grams just from pouring it because usually I get way more than that. And then we're going to tear the scale again. And the fragrance I'm going to use from Brambleberry is lavender and cedar. Just a nice calming fragrance. And we're going to do two grams of that. For some reason, it's not picking that up. What we're gonna do it's probably way more than we need, and it's not picking that up, so we're gonna stop with that. It's weird that it's not picking it up, but we don't want it to be too much. I think about that should be enough. And let's check the viscosity. Look at that, how nicely that has thickened up. Definitely get into that creamy stage. Now we got it. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you see that. And so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our cool down ingredients. We're gonna add a little bit of cream to it. Just mix it so that we can get that all of the ingredients are going in. That smells so good. Oh, and don't make a mess like I just did. Okay. Make sure you mix it all the way in as best as you can. I don't like having messes. I'm gonna...
Now that you've got a good mixture, now we'll pour this back into our bigger batch. Make sure you get all of it out. Sorry if my hand is blocking your view. And we're gonna mix this really well to make sure it's all incorporated. And this will continue to thicken as it sits. And it's just such nice, soothing. It has a nice smell to it. Okay, I want to check the pH. So I have these pH strip testers that I'm going to use. And it gives us our colors here. And I would say we want it to be anywhere between four and five. Four is best for your face. And I think what we're gonna do is do a little test. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put a little bit of water. A little bit of our cream. It smells divine. Just gonna mix that in there. And then we will test it. I need to buy me one of those meters. I think that would be best for me to properly test the pH, especially for products for your face. If you have a pH test meter, this is how you do it. So, we will stick that in there, pull it out, and we'll test it. And it is a little hard to tell, but it looks like it's around a six. Ugh. So I'm gonna put a little bit of citric acid, and I mean a little goes a long way. So I'm literally just gonna take the end of this glass rod, stick it in. And that's not working. There we go. To lower the pH. that ready for testing again and we're going to test the pH again and it is where we want it to be a little bit I think I need a little bit more citrus acid, citric acid just a little bit not too much Because this is going on your face, you want to make sure it's at a good pH. Now 
I mean, look, just from my hand being on this. You're able to see that the pH, I didn't even stick it in there. Do it again. It's around, you can see, it's right where we need it to be at four. And I'm good with that. So we're gonna call that done. And now we're going to bottle it up. So I have these, let me take off, change my gloves because these gloves are messy. Actually, I'll put it on this hand. I'm right-handed so I can hold the jar. So we've got these little jars that I ordered from Wholesale Supply Plus. Let me get this off the outside. And that's the jar. I'm going to put that in here. And this is still pourable. Look at that, how creamy that looks. And then I'll just put one aside in this amber jar. And you want to make sure all of your containers are properly sanitized before you put your mixtures in. And I store them already sanitized. So something I tip I picked up from one of the YouTubers that I watch. That's one of the things she said is she sanitizes her jars as soon as she gets them. And then she is able to just grab and go. I am making all kinds of mess. So don't don't make messes like me and waste your product. I don't even know if you're seeing all of that. I'm trying to get all of it in there. And then I'll just show you how creamy. And if you choose not to put this on your face, you can even put it on your arms and legs or anywhere on your body, really. All right. Let's clean it all up. And then I will show you it at the end. All right. So 
I put some on my hand that's left in the jar. And this will show you how how nice and smooth that is. It's such a nice texture and creamy. And it absorbs right into the skin. No irritation. The smell is great. Anyway, so that's it. You just made some nice, creamy, moisturizing face cream. I'll see you in the next video. Have a crafty day. Hi, and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, at a subscriber's request, I will be showing you how to formulate the facial cream. Now, this facial cream was formulated with the winter and fall in mind. Fall and winter, it comes first. Fall comes first. <laughs> thank you for... Hi, and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about making... <laughs>